Well, hey everybody, this is Bill with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. Hope you're having a good day today. Uh, it's time to give you another update on the few little odds and end things we've been doing to wrap up the trailer here. And man, we're getting close. Man, are we getting close. And we're really excited about the fact that we're getting so close to getting done. Looks like I'm going to make that March 1st deadline that Deb, uh, that Deb put on me. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's step inside. Let's step inside and show you a couple of things that we've done here. If you recall in the last video, and we'll start right here, uh, Deb was working on polying the uh, the doors that go in front of, uh, well this goes to the 12-volt uh, uh, center right here. This is where the, the brain is for all the 12-volt stuff right here. And uh, we got that all done, and you can see how that opens up there. I still have to do some tidying up in there and uh, rearranging a couple of wires, but uh, we're getting there. And so that's all done and then we got the closet door hung and it's all working properly so let me step in here and show you how that works and there you go there I ended up at first I was gonna on these doors and what I was gonna do was I actually first cut them where they were larger and they would you know overlap the edges but then I got to thinking I thought they would look better if we actually had them where they were flush. So I trimmed them down so they would fit inside and then uh, did it that way instead, which is the same thing, of course, that we did right here. The next thing to point out is we built a little uh, shallow soffit here. And if you'll recall, uh, some of the wires are coming through here. And then, of course, they go down behind in here and go on down and then across over to different areas of the trailer and that's all part uh, some of some of the 12 volt stuff is up there also some of the uh, uh, 110 volt stuff is up there you can see the wires coming through right there so we have excess right there and if we need to get excess here we can we can get excess there as well so we got that part done uh, another thing i want to point out and this is what i'm and I might have to step out so you can see it better. We're using the GoPro today because it uh, will show stuff better on a wide angle lens. But you can see we got the shower trimmed out all the way around. I was kind of dreading this. Uh, didn't know exactly how I was going to do it. And I just simply started figuring and cutting boards and test fitting them. And finally come up with uh, a way to trim it out. And we made some little one inch wide trim steps strips to run along here mitered these corners here and finish that out all the way across the back and on around over here deb still has yet to uh put several coats of polyurethane on that to protect it and then i'm going to come in with some uh, uh sealer and uh, run a, a clear sealer and run it along these edges here to keep water from getting down in there but i tried to tried to cut this where it was close as close as possible to the to the to the uh, the shower stall itself, and uh, so then we'll come and run a bead of uh, some clear uh, sealer there. Probably use Lexel. Deb's arguing with me about that because it's real hard to uh, to lay a nice clean bead with Lexel because you can't uh, you can't use your finger on Lexel and smooth it out. It just simply doesn't work. It just smears and then it. So when you lay up a bead of Lexel, you have to be very very careful and just lay up the bead and then forget about it you can't come back and smooth it out or anything like that so um so anyway we're still arguing about <laughs> how we're going to do that and another thing i want to point out let's see while we're up here we also went ahead and trimmed around as you can see here we trimmed around here and of course that follows on across over here comes back around and uh, we got that all trimmed out and I made some more little one inch wide strips for that and trimmed all that out. And if you look back over here, you can see it up there. And we'll go on down over there and you can see it there as well. Another thing that we did, because we have wires running behind here, we installed our false panels that uh, cover the wires. But if we, can, if we need to get to anything there, those false panels come off real easy. And we're able to get to what we need to right there. So we got that part all done oh and then deb's painting that she hung here a while back uh we went ahead and uh, did a border around that with some more of the uh, some more of the pine strips there and then she's gonna polyurethane that yeah she painted that 
She likes to paint, don't you? Yes, I do. You do like to paint, don't you? Yes, I'm hoping <laughs> when this build's done, I can have time to paint. Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, wouldn't it be cool to be able to set up an easel, you know, overlooking a beautiful lake yes, or a river and then uh, start painting? <laughs> I'm ready too. <laughs> I am ready too. Yeah. Uh, another thing I'll point out. Let's see. Well, let me come on over here. Um, talk about something. Dum 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 dum. dum. <sighs> okay. Uh, you can see right here on the side of the bed, we have these two holes drilled right here. These are two-inch holes and we want uh, air to be able to circulate underneath the bed and these are the caps that we got from Amazon to cover those holes. Deb still has to add uh, a couple more coats of paint to that there and then uh, we'll be covering those holes and another thing too where is oh yeah see the, see these right here these little one inch caps what I discovered when we were even though these are LED lights and we know that when we go with LED these are 12 volt LED lights and we know that they uh, don't produce very much heat at all but uh, this top shelf right here that these shelves are hollow and this top the top part I can remove real easily well I noticed when I was messing with stuff and we were cleaning stuff up when we pulled this top shelf out right here uh, we noticed that it seemed a little warm right above the light so what we're gonna do to help alleviate some of that we're gonna drill a one inch hole right in front of each light and then pop these little caps in here and then on the back side of this removable shelf we'll drill a corresponding hole at the back so that it can uh, so that uh, some air can circulate and escape yeah, probably don't even need to do that at all but I think uh, I'll just feel better about it you know knowing that uh, we have a way for air to escape there oh and Deb got her curtains hung we still have to uh, she's got uh, you know show them how that works yeah. And uh, who made those? I did. You did? I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And where did you get the idea to make them? How did you learn how to make those? From YouTube. From YouTube. Yeah. That's our favorite thing. Yeah. We learn a lot of stuff from YouTube. In fact, we could probably go back in. We could probably go back in and find the link to that particular video. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Was well, a long we'll, time ago. we'll see if we can find the link to that video of, of any of you that might be interested in uh, There's several of them. And, and yeah. basically, I just searched how to make Roman shades. Yeah. And just several type in how to make Roman shades on yeah. uh, on YouTube. Yeah. And uh, anyway, and then she uh, that's how she did it. But uh, she followed what they said on YouTube. And of course, she's got another one right here at this window and she has some made for the windows that are in the uh, outside doors uh, but I still have to make a framework that I can attach and of course the doors open right now and I've got it uh... now, why is that? well I I just opened them so it'd be easier to yeah go ahead and pull that one loose and come on around here and we'll take time to show that yeah yeah what I've got to do I've got to make a frame and I'll probably just make it out of one by twos and uh, make the picture frame on the bench and then come in here and figure out a way to attach it to here. I've got several ideas. I've got to research. I don't know exactly what's behind these panels in these doors. I'm assuming that it's a, uh, it's a foam board type insulation is what it is. And I'll probably use a combination of um, Gorilla Glue adhesive or and screws. If someone else has an idea, uh, put it in the comments because uh, the main reason why I haven't done that yet is because I want to do more research uh, before I do that. But I do want to make a one by two picture frame to go, to go around these and then Deb will be able to hang her Roman shades like you see here on the picture frame. And so they'll work there. So that's one of the projects that we still have yet to do. What we're gonna start working on here in a little bit after we get done shooting this video is I'm going to start building the chase that uh, covers that wire down to uh, the max fan in the front. And uh, we will take photos and document that as we go along. And how we did that will be in our next video. Uh, in addition to that, the next thing that we're going to be doing is on this cabinet here that is below the refrigerator, we're actually going to build a drawer that pretty much fills this whole thing and goes to full depth. 
and it will have excess from this side and when you pull it out when you pull it out uh, excess to pots and pans and things like that will be from this side over here so we've got to figure out exactly uh, uh, what kind of shells we need to put in there uh, pigeon holes whatever you know so we're still uh, working on that and we're going to use um, uh, full full extending drawer slides to mount this drawer on we've already uh, picked up the drawer slides and everything so that's their next project and the the cabinet door that was on here we're not going to put it back on the hinges we're actually going to make it the front of the drawer itself so that when it closes you know it's all part of the drawer itself on that and of course these doors here are pretty much ready to be hung back and they are right here of course so we're getting ready to put them back but Deb has a couple of shelves that she found on Amazon well I, I take it back she found one narrow shelf that'll fit in here and clear our uh, our down our downpipe right there uh, to put items there and then I've got to build her a shelf that goes above the pump here one that we can easily remove if we need to to get to the pump and and so we can put stuff on top of that so these are the little odds and end things let's see I think before in the last video, we didn't have uh, this wall of the shower covered either. Uh, you know, that was still open. You could see open framework there. And when you, where you see this, this door right here, um, this is put on with four screws. But when you take those four screws out and remove that, it exposes the plumbing directly behind the shower faucet on the other side. So if we ever have to get in there to replace that uh, shower faucet, uh, we'll have easy access there through that access panel right there. Uh, you see that, uh, of course you see the 110 volt plug in and you see all these cables coming out here. These will go to the television. One cable goes to the regular uh, cable hookup on the TV. Another cable is a USB cable for when we plug in our tablet to the TV. And uh, cause what we'll do with the tablet, we like to go to Starbucks and download off of Netflix our favorite uh, our favorite shows on Netflix and Amazon Prime and uh, our tablet has a, a, a HDMI output on it and all we got to do is uh, plug in the tablet to the HDMI and it acts as a remote and then we watch everything on our on our TV so and we'll probably do a video about that later and show you the kind of tablet we purchased and and how we do that and it's really pretty cool and the tablets are not that expensive the ones that are capable of doing that so that's something we'll talk about now you see a uh, a charging port right there that charging port will be for our strip lighting we have some strip lights that uh, Maybe that, the music. yeah that doesn't sound right strip lights I know. it's, it's <laughs> multicolored lights Mult okay there you go a multicolored lights that change colors with, with the sound and things music. like that you know and uh, and the one that we picked up right because our sound bar will be up here too below the television so the the uh, the the lights they plug into a regular uh, cell phone charging output is what they do so that's why we mounted that there and you can see now that the fans are gone took the fans down probably won't have anything there at all uh, we have a we have some little short tower fans and if I need to do something I'm later I may build a shelf uh, over here on this side that a little tower fan can mount on if we feel like that we need a fan to blow on us while we're in bed so anyway that's uh i think that's about it is there anything that i missed dear i think so yeah okay cool uh well i'm real tickled with my trim work cutting my 45 angles a couple of them i didn't get real good and tight but hey once uh deb does some filling on them and uh, lightly sanding on the joints and then uh, applying polyurethane to all that that's going to come out looking real nice. So, and we went ahead and put all these uh, baskets in here to uh, to give you an idea how everything's going to be, and then all the areas we have for storage. And uh, these, um, some more of these are available again. We may pick up one or two more of these um, at that uh, retail outlet that we have here called uh, At Home. Is that what it's called? That's what it's at called. Home. Yeah, Deb's like a kid in a candy store in that store. It's really something. <laughs> anyway. I guess that's it. That's what uh, we're up to date now so far. Uh, you think we're going to make that March 1st deadline? I'm moving in next week. <laughs>
you are, huh? Yep. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to move in next week, but uh, anyway, we have uh, we have a we have a month and one week. A month and one week. Before we actually uh, take it out to the spot that we already have picked out. I know. Yeah, one of the campgrounds, but, but local we're campgrounds. We're going to spend part of that month in one week. Getting the van ready for storage. This is true. Yeah, so. the next thing will be working on the van, getting it ready for the things that we're going to be taking with us on our adventure. So um, so when we get done here, we'll start on that. And we'll show you a few videos along the way of those those things that we're doing on the van. But uh, the last video we uploaded hasn't seemed to garner as much interest as the ones, of course, on the trailer. So It's just because they, it's like the clown in the little bitty car. <laughs> they don't realize what all we're putting in there. Oh, I know. That's going to be quite the video, I'm yeah, telling you. Yeah, it will be, yeah, because we'll be putting a lot of stuff in there. We did well, get it'll a, be like, watch this mountain go in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We did get our new kayaks, you know, um, we, uh, the kayaks, if you, if you watched our lake video that we did last summer, uh, you saw us in uh, these long orange colored uh, kayaks, reddish orange, yellow uh, colored Sunset. kayaks. Okay. And um, those were, were too long uh, to, to haul the way we wanted. And so we did find some other kayaks and we sold those and we found somebody that was, uh, uh, it, when, I, when I advertised them for sale, they were gone in an hour. You know, and they were great kayaks, but they were 12 feet long. We would have had to have hauled them on top of the van, and we we don't want to haul them on top of the van. We found some that still had the weight capacity that was equal to the weight capacity on these others, um, and uh, they're nine feet and six inches long. So uh, those we can haul inside the van, and they will fit behind either seat uh, and still be completely covered inside the van. So we'll be building on a rack in the van to haul them in there, and I'll probably do that out of PVC. I've uh, been well, researching a lot of different ideas on YouTube on that. So, anyway, we're working on that, and so we'll we'll talk about that when we get further down the line on that. But I guess it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Yeah. This is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. Hope you all have a good week, and uh, we'll be seeing you again real soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye now.